What's up guys, Alec Mac 101 today. I have a little different video for you guys. This is actually my iPhone 6s. This is something I brand new, I already got. It's pretty great. And I'm doing this because I'm going to be doing some of my YouTube filming with this new camera because if some of you guys know, they have incredible ability to be able to shoot not only in 4k but also in 720 at 240 frames a second as well as 1080 at some pretty high crane frames per second rate which i think is pretty cool so we're gonna go over just the features real quick and i will show you guys some things i know most of you are like oh crap this is an airsoft like this doesn't matter this sucks um but this is something that's pretty cool most of you will like this just because it's iphone success new technology all of you probably have smartphones unless you're really young but it'll just come with a phone like that and then under this we'll have just your stuff you'll have all your licensing and stuff i've already hooked my phone off obviously Obviously, just because I want to show you guys some of the features and whatnot but you have any of the things in here you got your cool Apple stickers um, and then just like some basic things to sh show you what to do you got your earpod headphones as well as your charging block and then your cord will actually be right there but I took mine off because I ended up getting a braided one off of eBay just because the braided ones are a little bit higher quality and I tend to rip the other ones. So I just gave it to my friend because she needed one. So the iPhone 6S, yes, this thing is beautiful. The only thing you'll actually be able to tell difference wise externally, it's the exact same size to show that this is my um, iPhone 6S case. Actually, there's the iPhone 6 case, same exact one. I got it for the iPhone 6 before the success even came out. And I was just like, okay, so if it's same size, same everything, this is actually the Magpul case. I like the Magpul cases. I've rocked them for a while because I really like them. Uh, you can see someone texting me. Um, the six, the S down here is what will like differentiate. That's, that's what you'll know. So, Hey, that's the success. Um, the camera is actually shoots a 12 megapixel picture, which is incredible. That's the biggest thing for me. I really wanted a, a phone that's able to have a good video quality as well as pictures because for my youtube thumbnails i'm most likely going to use this to shoot those rather than my gopro because if i'm going to take a picture of this i can actually use airdrop and then i can airdrop it onto my mac right there which i use adobe premiere cs6 to edit the 2015 creative cloud version so here's the phone pretty cool pretty great they have something called assisted touch which i won't go a whole into detail a lot of that i'm going to focus mainly on the camera stuff because that's what i'm focusing on right now that's why i got this phone specifically for the youtube stuff so under general and your settings and stuff after you set everything up there were oh, actually a little sorry it'll be under um photos and cameras i'm still getting used to this you guys won't be able to see this super much but you don't really need to so it doesn't matter um under here it will say camera you can have like your grid and stuff and then you can record video. I have it set very low right now just because I was testing some of the stuff. So it's 720 at 30 frames a second. Now, if you click on that, you can actually go to a multitude of different things. So 720 at 30 frames a second, 1080p at 30 frames a second, 1080p as well at 60 frames a second, which is crazy because that's what my GoPro, I normally shoot in for action videos. I'm actually shooting in 1080p right now at 30 frames a second just because I don't need that extra 30 frames a second. And then it also shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second. And then down there is just the data for some of the stuff which is crazy i think that's super sweet now the slow-mo is something that's also going to be really cool i don't know if this will make it into my videos a whole lot but i can shoot 1080p at 120 frames a second like i said and then 720 at 240 which is actually crazy because that's better than my gopro hero 4 silver and this is on a phone which i think is absolutely nuts that's just super cool to be able to shoot that that like the incredibly slow motion of something. I have some slow motion footage that my friend used, Zach used on his six plus, and it's just awesome. And I'm able to do something really cool with that. I was able to get some really cool gun footage, which will actually come out video wise this summer. So yeah, guys, iPhone six, just real quick stuff. I'll show you the, um, enhanced touch thing. You can see this is actually from Romania. This is on the, a picture of the plane on there. I'll show you specifically what assisted touch does. So basically if you press on it, and then you press a little bit harder. Oops, I moved it. I held it too long. Um, press on it and press a little bit harder. You can actually see that there are three different, four different options right there, uh, specifically in mail stuff. So it's basically just using a different level of touch. Like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this instead. Um, some of the apps like Instagram currently has it. You can see view posts, view activity search. Um, over here, this got a little bit of an update. You now have the news app and stuff. Like I said, I'm not a technological guru or anything. I'm just going over the basic camera stuff and pretty much stuff from that and just showing you guys some of the other stuff. I really like this uh, new hold nearby thing and then the Siri suggestions. I think this screen is made much better. I really liked when the old iOS system came out. I've had an iPhone all the way since uh, iPhone 4. Yeah, I think I had an iPhone 4 and then I went to the 5 and now I have the 6S.
So those are the ones that I have had. I love this when they added this. I believe this was with iOS 7 that this was added. Don't quote me on that. I'm not completely sure. But just being able to add like a flashlight stuff, that's really cool. Being able to set my alarm, calculator, as well as take pictures. One of the coolest things for this is camera. I can record in slow-mo right off of that. So if like, oh, hey, that's freaking sweet. Hey, Zach, you want to just record this? Let me shoot this gun and blow up this tan right like I did last time. Record in slow-mo and it'll, always, it'll already go there. Now, it'll actually tell you... Um, specifically what you're shooting in right now so it's 10 or 720 for video which i think is really cool just the fact that it has that um so you're like oh okay i'm shooting in 720 i'm going to go back to my settings and i'm going to change that if i want to but yeah guys love the iphone 6s i'm super excited to be able to have one I'm not a huge like technological person. I got this specifically because I was like, oh, I can add some extra YouTube content for this and just do some really cool things um, and create some really cool things for you guys. And who doesn't have a smartphone, honestly? Like, I was running a, a just really crappy phone for a while, like literally almost all my life. And then the smartphone, it's just nice to be able to have technology, be able to have things at the grasp of your fingertips. Now, for those of you that have been faithful that are my YouTubers, I will be showing you a sneak peek of something that is more beautiful than life itself. This is the Alec Mac 111 Noob Tube. This is a rocket launcher that actually shoots freaking Nerf footballs 300 feet. You can see I have a canted uh, SRS Trigicon optic up there because uh, operator. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this iPhone 6S review. Those of you that are airsofters that stuck around, you're like, oh, dang, man, that's sick. So yeah, that video will be coming out very soon made by a super cool guy. But I figured I'd throw that in for you guys there thanks for watching this video those of you that have stayed here for a while you guys are the best man you guys are just seriously the best i want to go over my summer schedule real quick what i'm looking to do this next summer i'm going to try and do this potentially over christmas break so mondays will be nerf or airsoft videos tuesdays will be nerf videos Wednesdays will also be airsoft videos, and then Thursdays will be nerf videos, and Fridays will be real gun videos. Yes, I will potentially try to upload five videos a week. Those of you that are airsofters that hate nerf, you're going to be like, oh, frick, this is terrible. I hate you guys. But you also get two videos a week of airsoft stuff, and maybe more depending on weekend events and what I go to. You guys will hopefully love that. If you guys already clicked out of here, that's fine. Those, those They won't know. But if you're stayed here, you're just getting a little more sneak peek. Those of you that just want to see the phone, you can go ahead and go now. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Alec Mac 101, and this has been my partial review of the iPhone 6S, specifically for YouTube filmmaking and whatnot. I will see you guys later.